everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a level two, three flow with the BOSU ball. And I'm gonna call it out now for those of you who have been paying attention because I know that there are some of you. Pig does not feature in this video, which is gonna be like maybe the second video on this channel where he is not in there. And I just forgot, I forgot to bring him out of my bedroom. So Pig's not in the video, but he's in the intro. So you can all see him now. Just thought I'd call that out in case you haven't been paying attention. Now you will pay attention. Um, anyway, we're using the BOSU ball today. If you don't have a BOSU ball, you could do this class and you'll just ignore everything that I say about the BOSU ball and just do it on the ground instead. Or you could use something that's a little bit unstable if you have like some squishy foam or a pillow or something that will add a little bit of instability underneath your feet or your hands, then you could definitely do it that way as well. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. I also just want to say that I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because my husband is away in Australia for three months and I'm responsible for setting up the camera by myself. So I don't know what I look like in the frame until afterwards. So hopefully I haven't cut off my head. But if I have, that's okay, you don't need to see it anyway. We're gonna get started in a high plank today. So you're gonna be on the BOSU ball. The BOSU ball is gonna be squishy side down. Hands are gonna be on the flat surface and we'll be in a high plank. Starting in your high plank pose, your hands can either be spread wide on the flat surface of the BOSU or you could take your fingertips over the edge of the BOSU if that's a little bit less pressure on your wrists. You're going to engage through your legs, draw your shoulder blades down your back body, send energy out through the crown of your head and down through your heels and take a nice deep exhale through the nose and then a big open mouth exhale. And then you start to breathe in and out through the nose. And from here, we're just going to add a little bit of movement into this plank. So keeping your hips pretty still, you're going to shift more weight into your right hand. Let the BOSU rock to the right. Inhale, let's recenter. And then as you exhale, shift more weight into the left hand. Let it rock to the left. Inhale through center, exhale to the right. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. Inhale through center, we'll go three more each way. And then you'll come through center. We'll start to take this to a little bit of a forward and backwards motion. So tip the BOSU forward like you're sending pressure into your fingertips and then rock it back towards you. Inhale it forward, exhale it towards you. We'll take three more here. And then you'll press into the BOSU. You might need to adjust your hands a little bit as you shift yourself back into a downward facing dog. As you inhale, you'll ripple through the spine, come back into your high plank pose. And then as you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take three more just like this. And then you'll end up in your downward facing dog. <clears throat> As you inhale, you'll send your right leg up towards the sky. So now you really have to balance that BOSU with your hands. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, you're just going to tap your right toes to the floor. And then as you exhale, send that leg up to the sky. Engage your glute. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, send the leg up to the sky. So try and keep your left heel off the floor. Add yourself a little bit of a challenge. It's also going to help stretch out that hamstring and calf a little bit more. I'm going to take two more here. Take a nice deep inhale at the top. As you exhale, you're going to shift forward round knee to nose. 
And then as you inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift forward, round it out, knee to nose. And then inhale, send it all the way back, three-legged dog. We'll take three more here. And then you're going to step back into your high plank pose. We're going to take a little leg lift here. So take an inhale. As you exhale, float your right leg out behind you. And then as you inhale, slowly set it down. Exhale, lift your left leg, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, set it down. So try not to just dump into your lower back here. The position of your spine, the position of your pelvis, you're trying to keep it as neutral, as still as possible. You're lifting from the back of your leg. The movement's coming through your hip. Three more each side. On your next inhale, you'll send yourself all the way back, downward facing dog. Try and keep your right heel lifted. As you inhale, you'll send your left leg up towards the sky. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, you'll tap your left toes to the floor. Exhale, engage your glute, lift it up. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, lift it up. We'll go for four more here. Last one, inhale at the top, and then as you exhale, shift forward, round it out, knee to nose, inhale, shift it back, three-legged dog, <clears throat> exhale, shift forward, knee to nose, three more here. and then you'll step it back into your high plank pose. You'll set your knees down on the floor. As you inhale, you'll come into a cow belly breath. So this is gonna feel a lot different because our hands are elevated here. And then as you exhale, you'll tuck and round the spine. Inhale, come into your cow belly breath. Exhale, tuck and round. One more here. And from here, ow, this is really hot. <laughs> Don't do a black surface in the sun. You're going to tuck under your toes, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're just going to press into the BOSU, hover your knees into your bear. As you inhale, you're just going to tap your knees and then exhale, pick it up. Little movement. Inhale to tap, exhale, pick it up. We're going to do eight more of these. And then we're going to take this into our downward dog. So you're going to come from your bear all the way into your downward dog. And then as you inhale, you're going to shift back forward so that the knees hover above the ground. Exhale, send it back into your down dog. And then inhale, shift it forward, knees hover. We're going to take three more just like this. And then you're going to set your knees all the way down onto the floor. <clears throat> you're going to flip your BOSU ball over and we're going to bring our forearms to the ball. So forearms parallel and then you'll step back into your plank pose. So this is it, probably going to feel easier. You've got a much more stable base. So we're going to turn this into a side plank. So you can either just angle one forearm in and then swivel your heels, or you can set your knees down and transition yourself into a side plank. Left forearm down, right forearm up to the sky. You're going to take an inhale here. You can sag your feet if you need to. As you exhale, you're going to thread that right arm underneath the left rib cage, and then inhale, open it up. 
I exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open it up. I'm going to do three more here. Inhale, take that hand to the sky. As you exhale, you'll bring your right hand behind your head. Inhale, open your elbow. As you exhale, you're going to turn your chest down. So try and keep your elbow nice and wide. Really turn through your chest. And then inhale, open it back up. So it's a similar movement, but a little bit different. As you exhale, keep that elbow wide. Turn your chest. So when you turn, it's almost like your upper arm is parallel with the floor. Inhale, open it back up. We've got three more here. Inhale it back through center, and then as you exhale, we're going to take it to the other side. <clears throat> so your right forearm will come to the bosu. <clears throat> And you'll take your left arm up towards the sky. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you're going to thread your left arm underneath your right rib cage. And then inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open it up. Three more like this. Inhale, open it up. As you exhale, take your hand behind your head. Inhale, open up through the chest. As you exhale, turn the chest down. Keep your elbow nice and wide. And then inhale, bring it back into your side plank. Four more like this. Inhale, open it up, and then as you exhale, come back through center. Before we stand, we're going to come to kneeling on our bosu ball. I'm just going to get a towel so I don't end up with lovely little circles on my legs. So you're going to bring both of your knees to the bosu ball. So you might need to tuck your toes under on the floor behind you, otherwise you're going to try and float your feet. You're going to inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, hands interlace behind the back of the head. Take the elbows wide. Gentle knit of the rib cage, rib cage together. Lengthen the back of the head. Inhale here. As you exhale, keep your hips facing forward. You're going to turn your torso towards the right. So draw your right hip forward as you draw your right rib cage back. Elbow is wide. And then inhale, come through center. We'll take it the other way. As you exhale, draw your left hip forward slightly as you take your left elbow, left rib cage to the back of the room. And then inhale through center. Exhale, turn it to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, turn it to the left. Inhale through center. We'll do three more on each side. And then you'll come back to center, you'll release your hands. You're going to keep your legs as they are. You're going to send your right arm up to the sky as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll switch. Inhale, you'll switch. Exhale, you'll switch. So you can start to speed this up. The bigger you make the movement, the faster you make the movement, the more you have to control through your legs and that movement of the BOSU ball. We're going to be here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You're going to stay on the bosu ball. I just need to 
give myself some more padding because I've got these little spiky bits on the BOSU ball for reasons unknown to me. You're going to ground down through your right foot. Once again, you might want to have your right toes tucked onto the floor behind you. So you're going to ground onto your right shin, sorry, not your right foot. You're going to see if you can lift your left leg off and tap your left foot to the front of the BOSU, like a little half kneeling position. And then you're going to bring it back in underneath your hip. We'll switch sides. Ground down through your left shin. Maybe your left toes are tucked. See if you can tap the right foot to the front of the BOSU. And then take it back underneath your hip. We'll switch it out. Ground down through your right shin. Tap your left foot to the front of the BOSU. And then bring it back. Ground down through your left shin. Tap your right foot to the front of the BOSU. And then bring it back. We're going to do three more on each side. Last one. And then you'll tuck your toes on the floor behind you. Come all the way up to standing. We're going to flip that BOSU over again. We're going to take some sun salutations with the BOSU ball. So you'll inhale, sweep your arms all the way up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, forward fold, run your hands down your shins to the mat behind the BOSU. As you inhale, up onto your fingertips, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, for this first one, we're just going to step back into our plank pose. You're going to shift forward, bend the elbows, come down, chaturanga. Inhale, back to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top. This one, we're just going to step, step to the top of our mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise the arms, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, this time you can step, walk, or float yourself back into your chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Option for a second chaturanga here. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Look to the top, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale to chaturanga, inhale to plank, exhale downward dog, step walk or float to the top, inhale lengthen, exhale forward fold, inhale come all the way up, exhale fold it down, inhale to lengthen, exhale step walk or float, chaturanga, inhale to plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale to plank, exhale downward dog. Step, walk or float. We'll do one more like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. One or two chaturangas. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, you're going to take around the edges of the BOSU. So you're going to pick the BOSU up with you when we come to stand. You'll take your feet about hips distance apart. As you inhale, you'll sit down into a squat. Reach that BOSU out in front of you. As you exhale, you'll set it down. Hop back. Now you're going to come into a wide push-up. Inhale, bring it back up. We're going to do a few of these just to get ourselves going. You'll inhale it down. Elbows come wide. Exhale, press it up. You can do this from your knees. Inhale, come down. Exhale, press up. We're going to do three more. Come into your plank pose. From here, you're going to hop your feet back forward into your little squat. Reach that BOSU forward. Inhale. As you exhale, come down into your push up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, hop forward, squat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hop back. So it's like a burpee. Inhale, plank. Exhale, hop forward, squat. 
inhale, press it forward. Bosu finds floor push up. So find a little breath pattern that works here for you. You can definitely go slower or quicker than what I'm going. <laughs> We're going to do four more just like this. Last one. And then we're going to flip the BOSU so that it's flat side down and roll all the way to standing. I'm going to turn to the side. You don't have to. You're just going to bring one foot onto the BOSU so that you're facing side onto the BOSU. And we're going to come into a little uneven squat. So you're going to start by loading down through your right leg. As you inhale, you'll send your hips back into your squat, and then exhale, press all the way up onto the tippy toes on that right leg. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, bring it up. We do three more like this, and then I'm gonna give you the option to make it harder. So you can stay right here. Otherwise, you'll inhale, come down into your squat. As you exhale, you'll come up, shift your weight into your left leg, come all the way to standing on that bow screw. I wonder if I'm still in the camera frame. <laughs> inhale, you'll come down into your squat. And then as you exhale, you'll come to stand. My husband's away in Australia for three months, so I'm, uh, I'm in charge of setting up the camera all by myself, which we'll see. We'll see how many times I chop my head off. <laughs> That's it. We're going to do six more of these. The next time we're going to stay standing on our left leg. So you might just be working on the balance here. You might be tapping your right toes on and off the BOSU and that's fine. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to bring your right knee up into your chest. Take an inhale. As you woo, <laughs> exhale, you're going to see if you can send that right leg back behind you, almost like a little donkey kick. And then you'll inhale, bring it back up in towards the chest. As you exhale, you'll take it back behind you. And then as you inhale, you'll bring it in towards your chest. So you could also be holding onto a wall or a chair here if you needed to. We can do three more. And then we're gonna step really no, we're not going to step really wide. We're going to step all the way down to the floor and we're just going to take it to the other side. So I'm going to turn so that you can see me. So now our right foot is on the BOSU ball. The left foot is on the ground. As you inhale, you'll come down into your squat. As you exhale, press up into that left leg, come up onto the tippy toes. Inhale, come down into your uneven squat. Exhale, bring it all the way up. So what I want you to pay attention to here is even though your right leg is higher, See if you can send both of your hips back towards the back of the mat evenly. So don't just ditch into one hip. You can do one more like this. You could totally stay there. Otherwise, you'll inhale, come into your squat. As you exhale, press to stand. Shift the weight into the right leg. Come all the way to standing on the right. Try not to drop out through that right hip. And then inhale, bring it down into your squat. Exhale, stand it up. Inhale, bring it down. We're going to do four more here. Oh no, we went for 10 on the other side. We're going to do six, eight more. Now we've got four more. Sorry. It's all right. We'll get there. Everyone makes mistakes. I 
if I got it wrong, you can always go back and even yourself out. We're going to come to stand on that right leg. You're going to bring your left knee into your chest unless you're just working the balance. As you exhale, you're going to see if you can send that left leg back behind you like a little donkey kick. And then inhale, bring it into your chest. Whew. Exhale, send it back behind you. Inhale, bring it into your chest. We do four more of these. You'll inhale that knee into the chest, and then as you exhale, you'll just step it down. Turn to face your bow, so you inhale, come all the way up, sweep the arms up, and then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen, and then as you exhale, step back into your plank pose. We're going to take a dynamic plank, or a commandos, is what some people like to call them. So we're going to go right forearm, left forearm, I'm just going to fix my and then we'll go right palm, left palm, left forearm, right forearm, left palm, right palm, right forearm, left forearm, right palm, left palm, left forearm, right forearm, left palm, right palm. So you're just going to keep alternating like this, nice and slow and steady, trying to keep your hips as stable as you can. They're going to move and that's okay, but I don't want this wild rocking from side to side. You're trying to keep your rib cage and your pelvis facing down towards the floor to the best of your ability. We do two more. Last one. Then we're going to come back down onto the forearms and we're going to make our way into a dolphin pose. So you'll start to walk your feet in towards you, grounding down onto your forearms, hips high. So this is going to feel way different to your normal dolphin because you're a lot higher. So it's not going to feel as intense, but we're going to make this intense. So see if you can bring your palms to the ball so your arms turn down take an inhale as you exhale press the ball away come up into this like shortened downward dog and then as you inhale drop your elbows to the ball exhale come up inhale drop it down exhale bring it up inhale bring it down we've got three more You're going to hold on your forearms. As you inhale, you're going to drop your knees to hover above the mat. So it's like a forearm bear. And then as you exhale, pick them up into your dolphin. Inhale, bring it down. Knees hover. Exhale, bring it up. We're going to do four more of these. And then you're going to walk your feet all the way into the bow. So come up onto the fingertips, inhale. And then as you exhale, forward fold. We're going to take some sun salutations with the bow suit on this side. If it bothers your wrists, you'll just flip it back over. Inhale, come all the way to standing. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step, walk or float. Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Option for a second chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. I forgot where we were going. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. We'll do three more rounds. Look to the top. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Look to the top. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. One more round. Look to the top. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float. Your vinyasa. As you inhale, you'll sweep your right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, you're going to step your right leg all the way through. See if you can get it into the middle of the BOSU. And then as you inhale, we're going to come up into our crescent lunge. We're going to hold for a few cycles of breath. Draw your right hip back. Drop your tail. Bend your back knee if you need to. On your next inhale, you're going to dip your back knee, see if you can tap the floor. And then as you exhale, straighten both legs, come all the way to stand. Inhale, bend both your knees, tap the floor. Exhale, straighten both knees, press to stand. Keep drawing your right hip crease back in space. And keep your back heel lifted. We'll do one more here. Inhale, open up into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, hands find the bosu. Option for a single leg chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. As you inhale, sweep your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step it through. See if you can get it into the center of the bosu. And then as you inhale, bring yourself all the way to standing. Find your crescent lunge. On your next inhale, you'll tap your back knee to the floor. Exhale, straighten both knees, come all the way to stand. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, stand it up. We've got three more. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge, and then as you exhale, you'll float it all the way back. Option for a single leg chaturanga, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat. I'm going to give you the option. If you think you can, you can jump both of your feet onto the BOSU ball, or you can step, step, and then come to stand on the BOSU ball, which is the option that I'm going to choose so that I don't make a fool of myself on YouTube. So now we've come to stand, both feet on the BOSU ball. You're going to inhale, sweep your arms up, Ooh, sink your hips back. We're coming into chair pose. So you're going to find your balance just to start. We're going to hold here for five breaths. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, you'll press to stand. Inhale, come down into your chair. Exhale, press to stand. So we're just taking little squats here. Inhale to chair. Exhale, press to stand. We're going to take eight more. Make sure you're not sending your knees way, way forward of your toes. We want to get into your, your glutes here more than your quads. Inhale into your chair pose as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Once again, I'm going to give you the option. You can try and find your hands on the BOSU ball and then hop yourself back. Chaturanga. Oh, I did it. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale down dog. If that didn't work, you just step. As you inhale, sweep your right leg up. As you exhale, step all the way into the center of the BOSU. Inhale, come up into your crescent lunge. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, dip your back knee. Exhale, straighten out the front leg. Inhale into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, single leg chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. 
inhale come up into your crescent lunge exhale here inhale dip the back knee exhale straighten inhale crescent lunge exhale single leg vinyasa take it through this is going to be our surya namaskar b look to the top of your mat step walk or float end up on top of the bosu ball as you inhale come into your chair pose as you exhale bring your hands down in line with your shoulders keep your chair take an inhale as you exhale see if you can float your right knee to your chest inhale it down exhale left knee to chest we're still in a chair inhale it down exhale the right inhale it down exhale the left inhale it down three more each side Inhale into your chair, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, down dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, come into your crescent. Exhale here. Inhale, dip the back knee. Exhale, pick it up. Inhale, as you exhale, come through your vinyasa. I feel like I missed something there. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Take an exhale here. As you inhale, dip the back knee. Exhale, straighten the knees. That's what I missed. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, send it through your vinyasa. We're going to do one more like this. Step, walk, or float your feet onto the bosu ball inhale come into your chair pose exhale hands down in line with the shoulders as you inhale ground down through your left foot exhale bring your right knee to chest inhale here as you exhale like we did before but now we're in a little chair you're going to see if you can send that right leg back behind you and then inhale it into your chest exhale send it back inhale it into your chest keep that bend in the left knee we've got three more Set the right foot down, take an inhale. As you exhale, keep your chair pose, just bring your left knee into your chest. Inhale here. As you exhale, send that left foot back behind you. Inhale it to the chest. Exhale it behind you. Inhale it to the chest. Three more here. Come into your chair pose, take an inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, make your way through your vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. Take an exhale here. Inhale, tap the back knee. Exhale, straighten both of your legs. Inhale, come into your crescent. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, here. Inhale, tap the back knee. Exhale, straighten both knees. Inhale into your crescent. And then exhale, step it back. Vinyasa. Look to the top. You'll step, walk, or float your feet onto the Bosu ball. And we're going to come all the way to standing this time. So I'm going to turn and face you so that you can see me. We're going to take our right leg out to the side. So ground down through your left foot. You're going to start by pointing your right toes. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep your hip and your knee facing forward. You're going to take your right leg as far out to the right as you can. And then inhale, just bring it through center. As you exhale, take the right leg out to the right. Try not to lean too much to the left with the torso. Inhale, bring it back in. This is our little act of rest. I hope you like it. We'll take two more. Now we're going to draw that right knee up into the chest. Similar movement, but now we're doing a rotation. So now you're going to open your knee to the side like a book, almost like you're coming into tree pose. Keep both of your hip points facing forward. 
And then as you inhale, you'll bring it back through center. As you exhale, you'll open out to the side. Inhale, come through center. We'll do three more here. And then you'll set the right foot down, shift the right foot to the middle of the ball, and ground down through your right foot. Point through your left toes, take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll take that left leg out to the left, and then inhale, bring it back in. Exhale it to the left. Inhale, bring it back in. We'll do three more just like this. And then you'll draw your left knee up in towards your chest. As you exhale, you'll open that left knee out to the left like you're coming into tree pose. And then you'll inhale it back through center. This side's so much harder. As you exhale, you'll open it out. And then you'll inhale it back in. We'll take three more. And then you'll set it back down. If you're not already, you're going to turn back to face the front of your mat. You'll inhale, sweep your arms all the way overhead. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step walk or float. Make your way through your vinyasa. We're coming into downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, step all the way through. As you inhale, come up into your crescent lunge. This time as you exhale, hands through heart center, open out, warrior two. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to straighten through your front leg. Your hands come to meet overhead. And then inhale, come back into your warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Hands meet overhead. Inhale into your warrior two. Take three more here. Come into your warrior two, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, you're gonna cartwheel back into your crescent lunge. Take an inhale here, take an exhale. As you inhale, you're gonna dip your bottom knee. This time as you exhale, press into your right foot, come all the way to standing, see if you can draw your left knee to your chest. And then you'll step it back down, see if you can tap the knee, inhale. As you exhale, bring it all the way to standing, left knee to chest. And then you'll inhale, tap it back down. We're just going to do three more here. You'll step back into your crescent lunge, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, bring it all the way down through your vinyasa. On your next inhale, sweep that left leg up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, step it all the way through. As you inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, hands come through heart center, open out, warrior two. As you inhale, you'll straighten the front leg, bring palms to touch overhead. And then as you exhale, warrior two. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, warrior two. Three more here. On your next inhale, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, you're going to open yourself back into your crescent lunge. Take an inhale here, take an exhale. On your next inhale, you'll dip your back knee to the floor. As you exhale, press through the front leg, come all the way to standing, draw the right knee to chest. Inhale, step it back, tap the knee to the floor. Exhale, bring it all the way up to standing. We're going to do four more of these. Woo! -hoo.
as you inhale you'll come all the way back into your crescent lunge and then as you exhale hands find the floor send it all the way back through your vinyasa look to the top of the mat you'll step walk or float your feet onto the bosu inhale into your chair pose as you exhale you're going to sweep your left arm back inhale switch exhale switch inhale switch so it's like a little skiing motion we're going to be here for 10 hold your chair for nine eight seven sink low six five four three two one inhale come into your chair exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale step walk or float make your way through a vinyasa as you inhale right leg comes to the sky exhale step all the way through inhale come up into your crescent lunge as you exhale open up warrior two inhale straighten the front leg palms meet overhead exhale warrior two flip your front palm inhale reverse your warrior as you exhale you're going to rotate all the way down into that low lunge back knee taps the floor take an inhale as you exhale press all the way through the right leg come to stand as you inhale step back crescent lunge and then as you whew, lose your balance exhale you'll take it through a vinyasa inhale the left leg up exhale step all the way through inhale come into your crescent lunge as you exhale open up warrior two inhale straighten the front leg palms meet exhale warrior two flip your front palm inhale reverse your warrior as you exhale you're going to pivot all the way to the front to drop your back knee take an inhale here as you exhale press through the left leg come all the way to stand and then as you inhale come back to your crescent lunge i just forgot the pig or oh, i just remember the pig is not in the camera today as you exhale hands find the floor take it through your vinyasa i'll have to go and get him for the intro look towards the top of your mat you're going to step walk or float we're going to go one more time and then we're going to flip the bosu to the other side so inhale come into your chair pose as you exhale sweep your arms back as you draw your right knee to your chest inhale chair exhale sweep your arms back draw your left knee to your chest inhale chair exhale arms back right knee up inhale chair exhale arms back left knee up inhale chair two more each side inhale into your chair exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale step walk or float your vinyasa inhale sweep the right leg to the sky exhale step all the way through inhale into your crescent lunge exhale warrior two inhale straighten the front leg palms meet exhale warrior two listen for the change inhale reverse your warrior as you exhale right hand comes down side angle pose keep your right hand down as you inhale you're just going to straighten that right leg into triangle and then exhale bend inhale to straighten exhale bend if you need to bring your arm up to create more space for your hamstrings please do that we're going to come back into our warrior two take an inhale as you exhale pivot to the front drop the bottom knee inhale here as you exhale come all the way to stand on that right leg take an inhale as you exhale we're going to try for a warrior three so send your left leg back behind you bring your torso forward this is really really hard i can't do it very well but that's okay and then you'll bring it all the way back up step it back into your crescent lunge inhale and then as you exhale take it through your vinyasa inhale sweep that left leg up exhale step it through inhale come into your crescent exhale open up warrior two inhale palms meet overhead straighten the front leg exhale warrior two flip the front palm inhale reverse your warrior as you exhale come down side angle pose as you inhale straighten your front leg for triangle exhale side angle 
in half a triangle, X half a side angle. Three more. Come all the way up into your warrior two, take an inhale. As you exhale, pivot to the front, drop the back knee, inhale here. As you exhale, come all the way to standing on that left leg, bring the right knee to the chest. And then as you inhale, we're gonna try for that warrior three, bring your torso forward, right leg back, this side's easier. Inhale, bring it back into your crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, you'll take it through a vinyasa. You're going to step walk or float yourself onto the BOSU. We're going to play with those warrior threes. And then we're going to do it on the other side. I personally find this side of the BOSU for warrior threes, actually most standing things, way harder than the other side. But see how you go. You'll ground down through your right foot. You're going to float your left leg behind you. So you might just play here with little baby extensions of that left leg back behind you. Otherwise, we're gonna to start to bring the torso forward. You could have a chair in front of you. I don't recommend a pedestal fan, although I'm probably gonna grab mine at some point. You're gonna bring your arms forward or to your hips, bring that left leg back, and we're just gonna try and hold it. So you might fall in and out of it several times. We're gonna be here for four more breaths. and then you'll bring yourself back up and we'll try it on the other side. So you'll ground down through your left foot, start to float your right leg back behind you. Maybe you're just playing with these baby extensions. Otherwise, start to float that right leg back behind you. Bring your torso forward and hold here for five breaths. Hold in quotation marks. then you'll slowly bring yourself back up. You're going to step yourself off the BOSU ball. We're going to flip the BOSU ball so that the squishy side is down and the flat side is up. You're going to take your right foot to the center of the BOSU ball. So we're going to do a similar thing to what we did on the other side, except we're not going to start from um, downward dog because it's almost impossible for me at least. <laughs> Inhale, you're gonna come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, you're gonna open up here into your warrior two. As you inhale, straighten your front leg, tap your palms. As you exhale, warrior two. As you inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, you'll come into your side angle pose. As you inhale, warrior two. Exhale, pivot yourself to face the front of the mat. As you inhale, dip your back knee. As you exhale, press all the way to standing on that right leg. We're gonna do that movement a few times. So take your hands wherever is good for you. As you inhale, you'll step back, tap your back knee. And then as you exhale, press all the way to stand, left knee to chest. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, step it up. We've got three more here. Last one. You're gonna come all the way to standing on your BOSU ball, and we're gonna find a tree pose here. So grab your left ankle, draw it to your right inner upper thigh or shin, and then hands come to wherever is good for you. I encourage you to try and not stare down at the floor, so pick a dristy point either in front of you, or if you wanna challenge yourself, you'll take your gaze up, draw your left hip forward slightly as you draw your left knee back, and then maybe you can reach your arms up and overhead. If you're feeling super jazzy, you could close your eyes here. We have for two more breaths. That left leg is gonna come away from your right inner thigh. We're gonna bring ourselves into our warrior three. So reach your arms forward, stretch that left leg back, take an inhale. 
And then as you exhale, you're going to see if you can float your left leg off to the left. And then inhale it to center. Exhale it to the left. Keep your hips still. Inhale it to center. We've just got three more. We're going to come all the way back up to standing left knee to the chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, that left leg will start to step back to the floor. Inhale into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, your hands will find the BOSU. Whoops, take out your little balancing plugs. You'll step back in through a vinyasa. A little technical difficulties today. We're going to step up towards our BOSU and we're just going to change feet. So you could definitely come into this from downward dog if that's available in your body. I just find it very, very awkward. However you get there, your left leg is going to find the BOSU. We're in our crescent lunge as you inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll open up into your warrior two. As you inhale, straighten your front leg, palms tap overhead. And then as you exhale, you'll come into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale. Come into your side angle pose. As you inhale, back into your crescent. Exhale, pivot yourself towards the front of the mat. As you inhale, dip your back knee. As you exhale, come all the way to standing on the left leg, right knee to chest. Inhale, take it back down, tap the knee. Exhale, bring it all the way back up. We've got four more of these. Try not to drop out through your left hip, especially in that kind of mid Kind of standing movement so once your back foot's off the ground and you're trying to press up really try and hug your hip to the midline we've got two more you're going to stay standing on your left leg your right foot is going to find your left inner thigh or left inner shin or ankle and we're going to come to tree pose grow yourself nice and tall choose your hand position find your dristi and hold here for five more breaths. You're going to release your right leg from your left inner thigh. We're going to come forward into our warrior three. You're going to take an inhale here. Keep your hips facing down as you exhale. Float your right leg to the right. Inhale it to center. Exhale it to the right. Inhale to center. Three more. Come all the way up to standing right knee to chest. Inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll step your right leg back. Inhale into your crescent. As you exhale, hands find the bosu. Step your foot back. Take it through. A vinyasa. Nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale. We're one more time going to do a little standing sequence on this side of the BOSU. So step yourself to the BOSU. Your right foot is going to come to the BOSU ball. We're going to come into our crescent lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll open up into your warrior two. Inhale, straighten your leg, reach your palms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, side angle. We'll find our triangle pose as we inhale. And then we'll exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. As you exhale, turn to face the BOSU. Inhale, dip the back knee. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, we're going to come straight into our warrior three. And then as we exhale, we're going to come all the way to stand. We're going to do that four more times. Inhale into your warrior three. Exhale, press to stand. Three more. You're going to hold it up at the top. Take an inhale. As you exhale, extend your left leg out in front of you. Inhale to bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale to bend. Just three more here. Take an inhale at the top. Exhale, step that left leg back behind you. Inhale into your crescent. As you exhale, hands find the bosu. Step it back into your vinyasa. 
downward facing dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Your left leg will find the BOSU, or your left foot rather, will find the BOSU as you inhale, come all the way up, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, tap the palms. As you exhale, warrior two. Now you'll reverse it as you inhale. As you exhale, you'll come to your side angle pose. As you inhale, you'll straighten your front leg triangle. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, pivot to face the front. As you inhale, dip the back knee. As you exhale, press to stand. Inhale, come straight into your warrior three. As you exhale, come all the way to standing. Four more like that. One more. You'll draw your right knee up into your chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, extend the right knee. Inhale to bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale to bend. Last three. Step your right leg back behind you. Inhale, come into your crescent. And then as you exhale, hands find the mat of the bosu. Step it back. Vinyasa. You're going to lower your knees down. You're just going to flip your bosu over. You're going to come to sit on your BOSU ball, like an Avasana boat pose. And we're going to play around with floating our feet off. So the more that you lean your torso back, the harder this is going to be. So you can have your hands spotting the ball if you need to. Start with your hands at your chest. As you exhale, you're just going to float your right leg to tabletop. And then inhale, set it down. Exhale, float your left leg to tabletop. Inhale, set it down. Two more like that on each side. You could stay just like this. Otherwise, as you exhale, you'll float both legs to tabletop. And then inhale, tap them down. Exhale, float both legs to tabletop. And then you'll inhale, tap them down. We're going to go for six more of these. One more. And you'll set your feet down. You're going to scoot yourself forward so that your low back is supported in on the BOSU ball. You're going to support your hands behind your head. As you inhale, you're coming into a thoracic extension. So keep a little bit of this rib to hip connection. You're not just flopping into the ball. You're thinking of keeping this rib to hip connection and then letting your thoracic spine extend over the ball. Keep your head heavy in your hands. And then as you exhale, think of your rib cage sliding towards your pelvis. You'll crunch it up. Inhale, little baby back bend. Exhale, curl it up. We'll just do three more like this. So you can definitely stay here. Otherwise, inhale. As you exhale, you'll float your right leg into the table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left leg into table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the left. Inhale, set it down. Two more like this each side. And then inhale, take a little release. Now you can let yourself arch over that ball. Take a nice dip, inhale. Take a nice dip, exhale. One more little thing here. You'll curl yourself back up into that little crunch. We're going to take a little bicycle. So take an inhale. As you exhale, float the left leg, uh, sorry, the right leg. Turn your chest towards the right. And then inhale through center. Exhale, float the left leg. Turn your chest towards the left. Inhale through center. Oh, it burns. <laughs> You're going to do four more on each side. I'm always surprised at how quickly this hurts. 
Oh man, oh, relax. That should not hurt anywhere near as much as it does. Take a nice deep inhale and take a nice deep exhale. We're going to finish up with a little bit of bridge work. So you're going to scoot yourself off that BOSU ball, flip it to the bottom side of your mat so that your feet can come onto it. You could go squishy side or you could go um, the flat side, up or down. If you want to do single leg work, I would recommend that you have the squishy side up because it's much easier to balance it. So you're going to, whichever side you are, you're going to press into your feet, lift yourself up into bridge. If your feet are on the squishy side and you wanted to take a single leg march, that's where we're going. So you'll take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll float your right leg up into table. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, float your left leg into table. Inhale, set it down. You can do this with the squishy side down. This is obviously a lot harder to stop the BOSU from falling over and you might just be better off just doing a single leg bridge lifting up and down. There's six more on each side. Take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, you'll slowly roll yourself all the way down your spine. Hug your knees in towards your chest, bring your arms out to a capital T, and you're going to take your favorite spinal twist. And then bring it back in through center, take it to the other side. Bring your knees in towards your chest, reach for the outer edges of your feet, coming into a happy baby. And then when you're ready, we're going to find our final resting position. So if there's any other stretches, movements, positions that you want to take, as always, please feel, for, feel free to find them. Otherwise, when you're ready, finding your Shavasana, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose. And a big open mouth exhale, let it all go. As always, staying here for as long as what serves you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have an amazing day going forward and until next time, namaste.